Whoop whoop everyone. Much clown love. Whoop whoop. Juggalettes, juggalos, sideshows, subscribers, people of my channel. So anyway, I went out and I got a pizza pan because I did not have one. Pretty solid and pretty. But it's by True Living. It's a jumbo pizza pan. So we got that. And tonight I figured I'd make a pizza with some wings on the side. And the wings are boneless, but it's a DiGiorno kit. So let me disconnect this from the rest of the pan. There we go. See? Living. All right, so we got the pan. And then we got the, uh, I told you, the pizza, which is right here. This is a DiGiorno pizza and wings. Boneless wings. So we're going to have a good meal tonight. Uh, my friend uh, Candace is sick. She had a fever of 103 point something. She went to the hospital last night and they gave her some medicine and went, told her to go home. I said, you can't tell people to go home with a fever. So I don't know what happened, but if I was there, you know me, I would throw a shit fit. A big time one. So, the car started, if you don't know this, and... Uh, People get ready to back out and put my seatbelt on. I got a trash can, a 10 gallon one, which is 40 quarts, which is 37.9 liters, if you wanted to know. So there's no lid for it, and we got a couple of sodas. And um, I was tempted to buy a Christmas tree, but we don't need it quite yet. It's not December. I'm not one of these people, let's put our tree up right away. There are no kids. The kids are the ones that want to enjoy it. You know what I mean? Let me fix this. Here, we'll tilt it. There we go. So we're going to turn this baby around. The other guy, I moved because he was backing up. And I don't know why he was backing up. He was in a space, but he decided to back up. Now, some people told me, Hunter, you need to calm down. I did calm down. I did not get out of the car, get on top of someone's roof of their car or on their hood and take a deuce. All right. I did pu not punch through a windshield or anything. Okay. I got out of the car and tried to explain to him, even though I was pissed, you shouldn't be honking at me when people up front aren't doing their shit because honking at me is just pissing me off. And I think she realized that. Now, guys, I have some video. To put up a video, like the one I did for my birthday one that I never got a chance to put up, it took, ready, nine and a half hours to go up because of my internet connection. Nine and a half hours. So now I'm going to have to cut my videos back to about 30 minutes. I do apologize. Unless there are lives on the phone. Like, this is a recording. It's not a live, but still. So, I went by my friend's um, house. She wasn't there. So, she must have went, took care of the kids, get the kids, or took them to somewhere. And she's sick. I told her if she needed me, which means if she needed me to help her take places or take the kids, because she's sick, I will do so. <sighs> they got couches on the curb. I've got couches. I don't need them. I am looking for an outside chair that someone's throwing away. You know, the plastic ones? So I can either put it in the backyard or in the front while I'm sitting out front, just, you know, record. My tripod, unfortunately, is um, at a friend's house where they had the barbecue in heaven. So I never got it. That was my fault. So, yeah. <sighs> Excuse me. There is a um, a senior center, but I don't qualify as a senior. I am not a senior. Not yet. It used to be I would have in one more year, but now unless you're 60 something years old, I think it's 65, you're not a senior. And by the time I hit 65, it'll probably be 75. And when I hit 75, it'll be 85. 
you know how that works and it goes 95 and then 105 and by the time I reach 105 do I really care if I'm a senior or not hell no as long as I have my fago I'm good so we are heading home we're almost there like I said it's a short distance it is Saturday so this might go up as one footage it should just one footage and it should I just saw a woman running and you know what bounces so that's right her balls her balls were bouncing the balls on her chest not the balls down there it is not that kind of neighborhood I don't think Mailman showed up, uh, told him, hey, my mail is here. It's not this person. I am not this person. I said, what do you mean? I said, well, do you see that card you delivered? Yeah. Oh, change of address. I said, yeah. The name going there is Manly. So anything with Manly or in care of, like the Juggalo vlogs, so forth. How's it going? Do you have, a, have you seen the coyotes that run through here at night? Oh yeah. I saw one coming through here one night and it was chasing something, but it looked like a dog it was chasing. That's my, I have a little chihuahua, so I get worried, yeah. So what I do is I go ahead and um, I pulled my shotgun out. Well, apparently that coyote knew what a shotgun because when I pulled it out well, like this, they don't stop chasing food. That sucker went boom, turned the other way. I live right there. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. I, I Someone said there's a bobcat or some cougars. They told me there's some... You can go hunting for longhorns still out here. I said, well, if that's true, I'm, I get bored at times. I said, but uh, is it fair for me to throw a pistol to him so at least he has something in his hand? <laughs> so does mine. Mine thinks, you know, it's like a Rottweiler jumping and go, ah! And they just, like, my dog, this, we had, I used to have a cat at my house, and uh, the cat, he went chasing, and the cat turned around, smacked him, and chased him into his room. We all do, even men do, when we get older. I can take you, you get crap beat out of you, but guess what? At least you tried, and in your head it was worth trying, right? Well, it's nice talking to you. By the way, my name's Ken. Hi, Bob. You take it easy. Huh? Uh, San Bernardino, I just moved down there, right there, that bottom stairs under the stairway. That's me there. Oh, no, no, I bought, because I went to Arizona. They could buy shotguns and stuff over in Vegas still. and You can still buy shotguns and rifles there. Well, you already found out we have to register bullets now, right? I hope it does. Yeah, because think about it. It's easier for me to steal someone's bullets and if I shoot them, that poor person, I stole their bullets. Not their gun, their bullet shot someone and you're responsible. No. Exactly. You take it easy, sir. You too. Sorry, guys. Uh, one of the neighbors just meeting, so you know how that is. Nice guy walking his dog. All 
right, a window up. All right, other window up. There, we got it. All right, guys. Much clown love. You guys take care. Whoop, whoop. And I'll talk to you later. Believe in something. Without belief, there's nothing. Just don't force your beliefs on anyone. Now, if you're wondering, don't force your beliefs on anyone. If a uh, Jehovah Witness, Catholic, whoever you are, and come up and you start telling them about God, if I say no thank you, that should be it. I don't need you and your family and everyone in front of my door singing Kumbaya. That's what I mean. All right, number two, vote marijuana. It might not be for you, but it could save a friend or family member down the line. If you don't vote, you don't care. You vote against it, and it could have saved their life. Hey, you get out of here. All right, take care.